Hi, my name is Evan. I'm from the Micro Center Tech Support Department. Today we're going to take a look at how to download and install ESET Nod32 or Smart Security version 5 once you already have your username and password. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to do that. Okay, to get started with downloading ESET version 5, we're going to go ahead and open up Internet Explorer. We're going to navigate to www.eset.com. And being we've already purchased ESET and we have our new username and password, what we're going to do is once the ESET website loads, is we're going to go ahead and click on download. And we're going to say I've already purchased ESET, so go ahead and take me to my download. Here we're presented with two options. We have ESET Smart Security 5 or we have ESET Nod 32. In this case, we're downloading ESET Nod 32, so we'll go ahead and select download here. And we'll be prompted to run or save. We're just going to go ahead and click on save. And we can do our view downloads. And here we have the ESET program uh, installer downloaded. So we'll go ahead and just click on run. And we'll click on yes to give Windows permission to run the ESET installer. Okay, and this is the menu to install it. And here we're going to go ahead and select our language. We're going to go ahead and leave it at English and click on install. And now it's actually going to go through and download the ESET program. The first program we download is just the installer. This is the actual program itself. This can take a little bit longer. You can see it's about 50 megabytes to download. Okay, now that the ESET program is downloaded, we're going to go ahead and click on the I accept for the end user license agreement. And here we go ahead and we can select whether we want to participate in the ESET Live Grid Network. Um, that's a personal preference. You can read through there and decide if you want to do that. We want to uh, enable the detection of unwanted application, though. That's a good thing just to, for the extra security. And this is the destination folder. This is where ESET uh, installs. Normally, you'll just want to leave this to default, but you can change it if you like by just clicking Change. So we'll go ahead and click on Next here. And it's going to, it's going to go ahead and begin the installation progress. This process can take a few minutes, so you just have to be kind of be patient with it and let it run. You'll be sure to want to have your uh, ESET username and password available too, because it will prompt you for that information here in a couple minutes. Okay, you can see here that ESET is finished installing, so we can go ahead and just click on Finish now. and the activation window is going to pop up here and since we have our new username and password we're going to go ahead and uh, click on next here that the uh, activate, activate using username and password is already checked and now it's going to go ahead and prompt us to enter that new username and password and I have mine already down here in a notepad file so I'm going to go ahead and just open that and copy it I'll do the same with the password. Keep in mind that uh, username and password are both case sensitive, so you'll want to enter those exactly as they appear if you're not copying and pasting them. So go ahead and click on activate here. And now it's going to check the username and password and update the virus signature database. It's going to go through and download all the latest definitions. Okay, you can see it's done downloading all the updates and ESET is installed and we can just click on home up here and it'll show that maximum protection is ensured. So that takes care of installing ESET Nod32 Antivirus 5. Uh, it's the same process for smart security. You would just want to select smart security when you downloaded that. Uh, but that takes care of it. For more information and help, please visit www.microcenter.tech.com.